it going everybody luke here lifestyle off-road uh just want to do a quick video i know there's a couple out there already on youtube but this is speaker replacement there's a lot of people that talk about the speakers in the bronco being kind of subpar it doesn't bother me that much but everybody's so excited when they throw a new set of speakers in and i thought what the hell i'm gonna try it let's let's see how big of a difference it makes i was a little discouraged um when i did i've replaced one so far when i did pull it out it was just a paper speaker for an interior that's marine grade vinyl and wash out floors with uv protected switches on everything like these um you figured there'd be at least some sort of like a plastic cone or something not just foam with a paper speaker so for that reason i'm glad i'm getting them replaced now before they wear out in the sun um i have the top off of mine as much as i can it's almost the end of october and i had the top off yesterday here in iowa so let's uh get into it and i'll show you what you need to do to swap out your four inch speakers so this is the passenger side front dash speaker so you do have a six and a half inch speaker that is hidden down there in my very dirty kick panel um i am not replacing those those six and a half inch speakers are a plastic shell and i feel like they actually sound pretty decent so i'm not worried about those today we're just replacing these so i've got my pocket knife i am just going to use it in here and pry down top corner up okay that is all you have to do now you got the speaker so these are a seven millimeter pop those out okay screws are out i'm gonna lift it up and they did give you a pretty good amount of wire on there um I think it's just a clip. Okay, there you go. Of course, everything is now going to attach to the speaker. Um, there you go. So, you can see I've already got dirt in there. Um, this is a pretty cheap speaker. Um, like I said, I didn't feel like it sounded too bad. Of course, with it being up there, it the sound bounces off the glass, which that actually will help um make it sound a little bit better but just nothing nothing special about this i was hoping that i could unsolder this but that plastic piece has a some sort of capacitor in it i'm assuming to kind of limit the amount of bass um i'm not going to easily get that off there so i guess i'm going to leave that and for now i'm just going to attach this into there um that is not the ideal way but i'm hoping i can buy some speaker wire adapters off amazon maybe a similar maybe like the ranger speakers have a similar connection type um i know i've put them on f-150s before and they work really nice so you can retain all the factory wiring but let me get that all plugged together and i'll show you that okay so i have this kind of ghetto spliced together i just pushed the wires into that connector threw a couple loops of electrical tape around them that is what i'm going to do for now i'm not doing any wheeling or anything for the next couple weeks so that will get me by i am going to order a few different adapters off amazon and see what works once i figure those out i will post a video um let's pop this back in there Oop. These tabs don't want to let it go in there. Okay. All right. I will get that bolted up. Okay. There it is. All bolted in there. It did all line up. Um, these have like a little bit of a groove on the back here. Um, so when you put them back in, you do have to push that under first. Of course, I didn't do it right. 
There we go. Pop that down. There we go. Now it is good to go. Now we'll move on to the back. Okay. Moving on to these back speakers. Um, gonna do those next. Just wanted to show you quick. This is what I went with. It's a Kicker DSC40. Um, that is kind of what piqued my interest in these. This is high performance drop in replacement. I don't know. Maybe I got maybe I got had there. Um, I put Kicker speakers in a few things, including our F150 with good results so um and that still is a factory radio so this pops out real easy uh, again just using my pocket knife this is my pry bar if i can get it in there Damn. there we go this just pops off forward There we go, there's your speaker. This one is held in with two bolts only, but these are Phillips head screws. Um, up front it was a seven millimeter bolt, so I will get this out. Got the bolts out, um, same thing, same clip even. Just pull that, see if we can get it. Pop the speaker off, same thing. Cheap paper speaker. Um, no one's dented, so I'll get the kicker put up in there. So one thing to note on this speaker is the way that it has to sit in there at an angle, this tab and this tab on the corners are not going to fit. So I actually learned this from the uh, Pickens Party of Five video. I saw him do this. Use your pliers there pop off that tab same on this side now just make sure you doing the right ones okay so this is just the little wire that came with the speaker pop that in there Same with this one, maybe. Okay. And then I'm just gonna stick these up in here. Now, this is temporary. I know this is not the right way to do the wiring. Um, if I can't find adapters that'll work, I will just cut them and solder it together. Um, and my old truck I used for four wheeling and my Xterra that I had, I soldered every connection for the stereo together because after a couple of years of four wheeling, you really start to rattle everything loose. So. Um, nothing sucks more than being stuck without a radio just because you're too lazy to solder a couple wires together. Um, I just want to try and find the factory adapters. Okay. Okay, I have that installed up in there. Uh, I don't know if I can find the grill. So... Well, this should just pop back on. There. It doesn't seem the most secure, but I guess it's been on there so far. Okay. Hey everybody. I just realized I never really summarized the video of my speaker install. Um, so I've been driving around now for, oh, I think it's been about two weeks. Um, with the four inch kicker speakers installed in the dash and then the ones on the roll bar in the back. And I was gonna play a music clip for you, but that doesn't really show anything. 
Um, that's only as good as the speakers you're listening to it on and only as good as my phone can pick it up. Um, I don't think you're audibly going to hear difference through YouTube. So I'm not going to waste your time with that. But what I will say is the bass output probably went up about 30 to 40%. Now, those factory speakers have some sort of resistor in them and they are limiting the amount of bass that went to those four inch speakers. That was for the speakers up front and the ones in the back. Um, the, so when you're adding a two way speaker like I did, it is allowing it to have full range of bass. Um, so that substantially increased the bass output. Now, it's not like I'm rolling around and have a subwoofer in here or anything. It's not that great, but it did improve. And there's also a lot more clarity in, um, in like the voice and the lyrics. So I didn't think, like I said at the beginning of the video, I didn't think that the stock system was nearly as bad as a lot of people do. Um, I put a sound system in pretty much anything I drive. So I'm a little bit picky when it comes to it. And the stock, stock stereo is livable. Um, but everybody keeps saying how terrible it was, so I figured I'd give it a shot. I spent 60 bucks per set of speakers, so now I've got a whole 120 bucks wrapped up into the stereo. Um, it was worth it. I'm kind of on the fence if I'm going to replace the kick panel speakers, the six and a half inch ones. Um, we'll see. Time will tell. I'm sure I'll have some money burn a hole in my pocket and I'll decide that that's a good idea. Um, but I don't feel like I need to do that immediately. So for now, I'm cool with the way it sounds. Um, Overall, I think it's a good move to do. Uh, there's not a lot of parts out for these right now, so if the mod bug is is getting you and you need something to do, it's worth throwing a little bit of money at, that's for sure. Um, speaking of products though, stay tuned to Lifestyle Off-Road. We are planning on releasing at least three or four more products for Black Friday. Um, we're hoping to have a sale up on our website we're, I don't want to clue you in too much, but there will be an accessory for your suspension. There will be something for your tailgate. And we are also looking at getting more armor released. Um, on top of that, for the front bumper, we do now have it set up for front forward facing sensors. And we will have adaptive crews figured out soon. Uh, soon sorry. Um, we just had to get some measurements. We want to make sure it all works 100%. The whole goal with all of our products is they are made for off-road enthusiasts. It's not just something to look pretty and make your Bronco look fancy and to mount your light bars on. We are building products for the people that are going to take these trucks out and they're going to beat the crap out of them and they need stuff to stand the test of time. That is what we're about. So, if that is what you're looking for, give us a like, give us a follow, and check out our website. Thanks, everybody.